Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Julie's uh, Drunken Tarot. Cheers everyone. I'm here to do a reading for you for the month of September, but this is basically like a general like fall love reading. So I know a few Geminis and you know, there's no one sexier than a Gemini, that's for sure. God, I love those guys, gals too as well. Very good folks. All right, here we are. So this, these messages are just general. It's just general for the astrological sign Gemini. It may or may not resonate with you. Um, if it doesn't resonate with you, don't make it fit. Like you're like, that's not me. That doesn't sound like my situation at all. Then this reading is not for you. You know what I mean? All right. Soulmates, soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. Let's see what's going on next here. Clock. Next time, takes time and time, cycles to heal, progress. This is my love oracle deck. Breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. So it seems to me, Gemini, that you really, you ax somebody out with this ax, right? You just went, I'm done. Everything takes time to heal. You felt like maybe you had met your soulmate. Or, you know, like for some of you. And maybe like it's just taken a lot of time to heal. And get yourself back out there. And I mean, it does take time. You know, it, everything takes time when we go through breakups. I've been through one myself probably about three, four months ago. Like, yeah, it took me a good three months to like just feel like myself again and like even reconsider the possibility of like putting myself out there like it definitely will and sort of have here and there but just you know I haven't really met anybody so I live in a small town it's hard to like meet anybody right a little bit lonely on my end ace of wands Okay. Yeah, you were really focused on this connection. Are you really focused on trying to make it work with this person? Like, you really tried very hard. You had a lot of passion. Um, you really, like, thought you were going to probably spend the rest of your life with this person. I mean, he's holding the world here, as you can see. You know, he's, there he is. In his hand. I mean, that's the ever... That, I mean, you guys could have been dealing with an Aries. Uh, not necessarily. A very dominant person as well. Like, you know, maybe they could have been... I, I'm an Aries myself. I know we can be very, like, dominating, okay? Like, we are, like... Like, to be in charge of everything. Like, I hate to say it, but that's just how I am. Like, I am. I like to have... I'm pretty independent to, you know, the world with the clock. And it's taken time, but with the world, like, you feel like finally you might be a whole person again without this person. You did feel like they were their world, like the world. Like, you really, really did feel that way. It's taken time for you to realize that they weren't shit. I think there was a lot of just aggression with this person, I feel, as well. Um, you know, they could have been very, like I said, aggressive. Like, I feel just a really aggressive energy. The Wheel of Fortune. You do feel like someone is your soulmate out there. You feel like things happen for a reason with the Wheel of Fortune. Like, at least you have a very positive, like, attitude and an outlook on life, Gemini. And, I mean, I know a few Geminis, and they do. They tend to think 
like so positive sometimes that they don't want to let go of something that isn't working like because they just you know like they especially when they've invested so much time with the clock like you feel like I wasted so much time I gotta keep on trying harder but no matter what you did it's not working I don't know if you left with this person yet you're going to if you haven't um, with the ex maybe you tried to forgive them from some of their past actions all right four of cups yeah right underneath there look at that like the four of cups is kind of like an energy of you're really doubting this person and you're like you know maybe there's more out there look he's got his arms crossed there's a cup right there and he's kind of like i don't know man but you're like putting yourself out there again with the four of cups is a time of like celebration like maybe you were just spending some time with your friends to get away from this person or you know talking to your friends about what was going on so they might have given you some good advice let's see Knight of Wands, another fire sign energy. Like you, you are an air sign. There isn't one air sign card. There's some water to, or actually, yeah, I think the world might be an air sign. I'm not sure. But anyways, the Knight of Wands is a very like flighty kind of energy. So this person is a real like in and out kind of person maybe they were there was a lot of like in and out behavior like they seem to be invested and in wanting to work through you guys' issues and then all of a sudden you know they would change their mind it's a very like the grass is greener on the other side kind of cards um and maybe you are thinking that the grass is in fact freaking greener on the other side and if you're with an abusive kind of like person then freaking good for you get the hell out of there i mean you can wait and wait and hope for them to change but it doesn't mean no people gotta want to change you can't change anybody you know and i think that you realize this with the four of cups like that this person you were wrong like you know when it sucks i i went through that where i really thought this person was my everything i thought I was gonna marry this person same thing and all of a sudden bam you know I was so disappointed and shattered like it's just so difficult Gemini um, you know to have to accept that it's not working and just move on because you wanted it to work you know and then you realize fuck I was wrong you know about this person and they could have convinced you that you guys were gonna have a good life together i know i was convinced and this dude just like i don't even want to go there you know i guess i was just an option to this person they just thought they could do away with me whenever they wanted to and they did and it hurt yeah so uh, anyways can't always get along with everybody right eight of pentacles coming in look at you like you are doing amazing there like you're just like focused on your money you're focused on your independence with the eight of pentacles i mean but i'm not gonna lie like it's been difficult it hasn't been easy maybe you had to move um you know you probably had to cut your losses if you went through a divorce or are going through a separation you know and you're just like well i guess it wasn't meant to be but there's somebody out there for you you know the minute that you're feeling better and you've gotten over everything which is the clock which is what it's signifying and you're not gonna put up with crap this time like you're not gonna I don't know like waste as much time with somebody like even if you're just seeing somebody and you see some red flags you're just gonna go nah you know what I mean you're gonna go nah 
very quickly. You're, you know, you're waiting for the one. I don't think that you guys really want to play around either. Like you're looking for more of a serious commitment. I'm feeling um, unfairness. You feel like you've been down on your luck, that things haven't been going your way, but with the Wheel of Fortune, things are going to change for the better, okay? Uh, this is uh, another Oracle deck. I'm going to pull three of them. Wisdom. See, what did I just say? Like, you, you know, I've been pulling this. I just pulled it for Sagittarius. It's a learning experience, isn't it? Life in general, and same with love like i don't know you're like whatever happened to you you feel like it was very unfair in this relationship you feel like this person just treated you terribly time again no way can't make this up time time it just keeps on talking about time meeting somebody when it's the right time I understand that maybe you guys don't want to be single at this time or maybe you want to leave somebody you might not feel it like you're waiting for the right time to move on some of you and some of you it's just taking a lot of time to leave like you might just still be trying to figure out how to leave like where you're gonna live like how do you get rid of this person or you try to leave and they come back in with their stupid false apologies like that's what I'm getting like I'm getting that they're coming in with some like excuses for their behavior and you're just like you're tired of it you're like how much time do I have to waste with this person am I just wasting my time I'm gonna clarify because I feel like some of you are really concerned with time so I'm gonna have to clarify time clarify time Spirits and guides. I'll pull two more cards. I really want to get a clear. Got nine of cups. Again with uh, the arms crossed. Like you are very, you've been really patient with this person. Like I think you have done nothing but be patient. And you're just waiting. You're being patient with everything. You're not forcing anything. You're not rushing anything. You're just going with the flow, which is good. I think that maybe you might have met someone new or you're going to, but you're going to you're not going to rush it. You might feel like this person that you were with, you didn't take the time to get to know them well enough to figure out what they were all about and then you found out when it was like you were completely committed that you had wasted your time with the wrong person with soulmates. The magician, there's your card, Gemini. You know, the good stuff, the low key, the deception, the, but it's also a card of communication. Um, I don't know. I hope you're not like trying or planning to get back with this person or stay with this person. This person, I don't know, is all wrong for you according to these cards. This past or present, like present, the new person that you're going to meet, there's more of like an understanding and it's not all about like the other person's needs with this dominating energy this person you know there's more of like a i don't know there's more of like a good time really there's more like more of a match too with the magician and you but you just don't want to be deceived again you know that's what you're worried about you just don't want anyone lying to you you want honesty you know you want good communication um I don't know. That's what I got, uh, Gemini. I hope that that helps. I think that once you let go or move on from this new person, because that is your, or this old or present energy, that's when somebody worth your while and worth your time is going to come in. And you will be willing. You'll know because you will be wanting to spend time with them. 
it got to the point with this past person, you really didn't want much to do with them. Do you know what I mean? Like, you were like, nah, I don't know, man. Like, I don't, I, I don't even want to do anything with you. Like, you're boring me, for God's sakes, you know? And then this Knight of Wands comes in. It might be another fire sign, I don't know. Is, like, just very energetic and just very adventurous. You know what I mean? And maybe your past person used to be like that. I don't know, because... Yeah, you just don't want to be bored and you want to build like a future with somebody. And that is your main thing with the Ace of Wands. Like you are actually looking for a soulmate. You're actually looking to, you know, have a life with somebody. And this person, you couldn't picture that anymore. For whatever happened and whatever they did, you, I hope you realize that it is in fact time for you to move on. If you haven't already, okay? Because you're right. There is more out there. You are absolutely right. And you know it. I don't need to tell you that. You can do better. I don't need to tell you that. Do I? All right. I hope that helped, Gemini. Have a great day.